Welcome back to the Ringer 57 YouTube channel, guys. Sorry about the awkward angle, but we're doing another rant. So, today I got a call from Extreme Motorsports to talk to them about pistons. I have the funds for the pistons. I was gonna order them offline. Decided to ask them what they could get. The Wysco C101s were unavailable. Sorry, this is a terrible angle. <laughs> but the JE 13 to ones are available and they can get them a whole lot cheaper. So we're gonna talk about something on this project that I don't like talking about and that's money. Uh, I can get those JE pistons for $700. Plus shipping, so it's like $750 to get them here. I can get the Wysicos, which are not on the shelf anymore, so these would be an obsolete set, for $50 less, so I'd be $700. They can get the JEs for $615 to the door. So I that made my decision right there. There's 100 bucks blown off the top, and I get the pistons I was kind of leaning towards. So that means I'm gonna be running race gas. They're saying probably C12. They gotta see what the actual true compression ratio is and where I'm gonna be. And they were talking the cost of upgrading my carbs and getting them to where they're gonna be able to run that and it would be like 500 bucks. Little ridiculous. Considering 600 bucks I could order a set of flat slides offline. Well that's where he piped in and said 600? I got a set of brand new ones for 400. So, I'm going 38 mil flat slides, 13 to 1 compression JE pistons, he's doing the head work, I'm going to do the port work, it's going to be the last of the engine work you guys see out of me for a while, I may order a clutch here in the next two weeks, and we'll do that, but we're primarily going to switch over to focusing on the frame. We're going to do a full strip down, the frame's going to go off and get blasted, powder coated, I'm not gonna probably extend the swing arm this year. We'll debate it. It's still an idea, but for now, putting this together, it's gonna stay a short chassis. I needed to do triple bearings anyway, so. Woohoo! We're gonna go ahead and get all this wrapped up. Kick some ass this year. I mean, my intentions here, I'm 120-ish horse right now. When it was first built, the bike was 140 horse. When it first had the freaking carbs tricked and pods and the header and the advancer and everything. But that was a fresh engine. So I'm figuring I'm right around 120. He's talking I'm gonna be aiming in the 200 horsepower range. This is gonna be a new world order for me. The most powerful bike I've ever ridden and actually gotten to ride hard was like 160. <laughs> So this could be a little ridiculous. Uh, on this money note, we're talking 525 for the machine work and valves. Uh, 600 for pistons, so that's 925. Uh, 400 for the, I'm sorry, 400 for carbs, that makes 925. Plus 615 brings me to 40. 1540 bucks together for just that. And I got another 200 and something in gaskets. The Comatech, the Comedic head gasket alone is $120 for this freaking bike. So, and that's that. And then 209 for the clutch puts me at, we're gonna figure 200 for gaskets because most of the rest of them are fairly cheap. So I'm at 17. 40, 209 for the clutch, which is around 210, is 1950 bucks is what I'm looking at to get this thing back to a roller if I just start now and do what I intend. I'm still going to have blasting and powder coat. There's another at least 200, probably $300 to get that done. Uh, the wrap, that's 200 bucks. Blinkers, fuck, they're change. They're seven bucks a piece. So we figure we're gonna be $2,200, $2,300 into this bike. And I paid 30, no, no, shit, that was the check. I paid 1,600 for the bike. <laughs> so 1,600 and I'm gonna dump 2,200 in it. So where would I be sitting with that? Ignoring all tires and other expenses, 
uh, the fact that 200 horse I'm not gonna have to gear down anymore I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have to run the tall gear otherwise I'm gonna be laying on my back so we'll imagine that was just wear and tear going to the tall gear because I had to replace it anyway and when I replaced it I went to the short gear I bought the tall gear for street because I found out the short gear was a little useless so ignoring everything all the little odds and ends shit I'm gonna have three five, I did have forty five hundred to five thousand dollars wrapped up in a bike that should be able to spank any boost on the street. Should, could, would spank any high boost on the street. This could be interesting. This could be fun. <laughs> the strip it's still not going to be that impressive I, I'm going to get my 6 if I can keep it down and ride the son of a bitch and learn and complete my rider mod which is losing 50 pounds I got the 6 I only need to lose 2 tenths so for now we're going to cut this video off here thank you guys for watching this is going to be editless again I'm just going to start the upload immediately so if you see this it's been like 2 hours since I videoed it and I'm gonna go pay off my car I'm gonna go pay off one of my last standing debts my credit cards and we're gonna start rocking this bike every bit of change now can go into this bike that's $200 a month have a beautiful day hope you're not freezing to death if you're up north right now I know it's an extreme negative temperature and until next time have fun